Okay, I don't know if I talked about this useless thing in a while. Well, it's completely useless now. Remember this core innovations thing I bought? Um, you could plug in antennas into it. You could watch antennas and you can convert it through composite to your television or the cable or the HDMI. Well, this is a great concept at the time. Core innovations. And then you would put a flash drive in the front and it would record to that. I don't know why they allowed that because anyone could record stuff off the TV. And then they had a, a usable format that they could edit and try to put on YouTube or something. So I don't understand why they would allow it, but they allowed it on this thing. Well, today I want to go turn it on. Uh, everything was actually, you know, I went to turn the TV on. I put it on the right HDMI port. Everything was working fine. Then out of the blue, I decided, oh, I'm going to change the channel. I find the remote in my, I have a thing with all the remotes in it. I find my remote. And what happens? It won't turn the channel. Okay, say so maybe the battery's died. Sometimes if you leave something on, on top of a remote control, or if there's enough controllers on top of it, it'll push a, batter, a, a button in. It'll just run the battery down to nothing. That didn't work. I changed a brand new pair. I kept pushing on, off. I think someone did mention the sensor on board this thing just blew out on them. And that happens on a lot of things. The Cox boxes from back in the day, they were great. I, they were way better than the ones we have now. But they were so susceptible. Well, they weren't great. They were never great, but that's beside the point. But they were better. They were susceptible to losing their senses. They would just blow out on the unit. And that's what happened here. I bet you had nothing to do with the remote control. It had to do with the sensor somewhere on here. Yeah, the IR blaster, or whatever you want to say. And um, I didn't think it was worth buying another one of these. It really wasn't. I didn't use it that much. I just thought it would be cool to have it for a while. I could record things like if there was a Super Bowl on, or if there was Jerry Springer was on in the morning at like about 11 o'clock, I could tune in and record it. But um, this is... A good idea and I'm sure they make a box like this where you can record stuff I just don't know like how much money would it be I actually know I might be wrong they have setup boxes you can buy a setup box that has the same purpose but the setup box doesn't record for you all it does is convert everything so if you want to record with a setup box you have to set it up to something different this had the recording capability right in it with the flash drive Unfortunately, it doesn't work like that anymore. So one more time before I end this video, there's a flash drive you put in the front, power button, and two channel buttons. Um, so it wasn't completely useless. You could say, well, why didn't I just leave it hooked up if it still worked with the channel and the power? Without the remote control, it's useless. I'm not going to get up every time I have to change the channel. No way. Even though there's only about, I'd say, almost 30 channels I could choose from over the year, it's still a lot to keep pushing the button. Um, look at how long these, um, these, um, coaxial things are. Jeez, they stick out a mile. They don't usually stick out that much, but whatever. Maybe I'm wrong. Oh, here it is. The model is CTCB105. Power consumption, 8 watts. It was manufactured in December of 2021. That's that. This was like 35, 40 bucks at the time. Definitely never worth buying again. And then it's got, um... The HDMI out, which actually it gave a somewhat better picture than, than it does when you directly connect it to the TV. And then this composite. Just a hint, if you're worried about, well, I'll, ha I'll never have, um, a lot of people will say, I'll never have a television now that'll have a guide or anything like that. You can go on your, some of your, not all the TVs, but some of them do give descriptions themselves. If you push the info button while you're on a channel. Um, there's also a section you can go on the TV I'm using where you can click menu and you go to a certain thing and it shows you all the broadcasting channels over the year. So you can do a lot of things with the TV itself, but it all depends what TV you have. I have an older TV that's a, um, that I have that it also gets over the air broadcasts I, I have hooked up to an antenna. And I can tell you that um, that TV doesn't do anything. It's very slow and it doesn't do HD, so... Everything you hook up to it is 9HD. All right, that's it. Bye-bye.